Rick and Elaine Wagner are some of the lucky ones. Their Thanksgiving travel was smooth today. Going great. Uh, traffic was good all the way around. They stopped at the Loves in Troutdale en route to their home in Legrand. The Wagners were coming from a large Thanksgiving family get-together in Lincoln City. Well, we left early. We uh, we got over there on Tuesday, so we kind of beat the traffic, and so mainly it was on the back end here. But uh, you kind of expect it be a bit, little bit busy, but it wasn't bad, relatively speaking. They were headed east on I-84. If they were headed west, though, they would have hit this treble spot. In between Hood River and Cascade Locks, I-84 drops to a single lane in each direction for a mile. It's related to cleanup work from the Eagle Creek fire. Crews have been clearing dangerous trees and debris here. You get a busy night like this with a lot of traffic coming back into the Portland area, and that means you're going to have delays, and we had them tonight. ODOT expects to have all the lanes open again next week, though. Aside from that, the earlier portion of today's commute was manageable. But overall, the evening wasn't too bad. At the airport, there weren't any unexpected problems. There were delays, but no cancellations. On their way home, the Wagners hit that too. I was very impressed with the lack of traffic going to the airport today, actually. Now it's a straight shot home to La Grande. One of the busiest travel days of the year is coming to a close. On the way home, we listened to some Christmas music. It's our tradition, so. And, and cappuccino spiked with uh, coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> And going back to the airport, today airport officials were expecting 10,000 more travelers than they do on an average day. In between last Wednesday and today, they were expecting around a quarter of a million people to be at the airport, to be traveling in and out of the airport, I should say. Nina? All right, Taylor, thanks.